What's up guys, Judo Highlights here and we're going to have a look at Saito, one of the standout performers of the uh, Baku Grand Slam that has just wrapped up and finished. So only 19 years of age, second year at Kokushikan University in Japan and uh, he's really really improved a lot. Uh, I actually saw him about two months ago. Uh, he came to our dojo, uh, just did a bit of uchikomi and um, yeah, threw a couple of guys around. I can tell you he, he's really, really uh, supple. He, he likes to grip uh, confidently and well, very technical. Doesn't like to rely on the power that he does have. And um, I'll tell you a little story. He, um, his mother was waiting for him in the car and he had run to the car and he ran from the dojo to the car so fast I've never seen a man 160 kgs run so fast in my life so physically gifted um, technically amazing and uh, really really young so uh, big things coming from Saito I would think uh, in the coming years and at Baku he had two uh, Azerbaijan fighters that he came up against and we got to see a variety of techniques Ujimata here there was a Tayotoshi earlier on, an Ochigari. And then things got interesting, I thought. I thought uh, the Mongolian, taller, uh, obviously lighter in weight, faster. So I thought maybe he would put him under the pump with the grips a little bit. But you can definitely see that Saito, he just, he definitely controlled the entire match. And you can see that he's got a wide variety of techniques. I mean, also the Gari attempts here, looking for it doesn't get it that's okay he's going for things you know he grips he he dominates the grips and then he goes you know so uh we saw a lot from him this tournament i did think he was a, a one-trick pony uh earlier on when he was younger but now you know Tayo Toshi, that's definitely one of his signature moves uchimata is looking good that interesting uh ochi uchimata combination that he has and then it looks like he's got a all sort of ready as well. And of course, in the final, uh, his big throw that he gets off, Sasai Surikomiyashi, that looks really good as well. Yeah, the, this is the one trick that I was thinking he would be relying on too much. Just kind of a, an Ochigari where he kind of relies on his weight to get people down. But uh, he's definitely showing that he's uh, got a lot more to offer than just one technique. But I would say at this tournament... Uh, the level of competition is not as high as it gets in the plus 100s. There's a lot of guys who I think will uh, definitely overpower him, even though he's uh, definitely probably one of the heavier guys in the weight class. But uh, we will see. We will see. There's a couple of Georgians uh, who will give him a run for his money. Teddy Rainier, that's also an interesting one. And then, of course, we have to see um, how Kagiura does against Saito. I'm sure that if they're both at the same tournament, then uh, we would definitely see them against one of each other. Harasawa, I don't know what Harasawa is going to do. I would presume he's probably going to start slowly retiring. He might have one or two more tournaments in him, but uh, this is the new generation. And come on, 19 years of age. Look at this. He's just completely dominating, throwing everyone for... I mean, not not Ippons completely, but the Ippons are coming, that's for sure. He's, he's racking up the Wazadis and showing us that he has incredible throwing ability and technique. This defends well. I would love to see what his training is like at Kokushikan University because does he have guys this big that he's training with on a frequent basis? Like, this is amazing. Um... But yeah, so uh, definitely his hardest fight here was the final. But you could just see that he's fast on the grips, dominating the grips, knows what he wants to do. And I love this, his left hand. Look at his left hand. How often do you see a heavyweight do that? How often do you see a lot of people do that? I mean, a lot of people just, they want to get that big hand over the grip. But this is a really, really nice grip as well. High up there across the cheekbone. Look at that, uses it there to get a nice Uchimata. No score. And then, uh, this is the final segment now. 
So say Sudi Komiyoshi, and so perfectly well done. Oh, look at that. Alright guys, so let me know what you think of Saito, and I'll see you in another video. Peace.